Welcome to another mini video from 2dgamerguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer to create 3D effects on text. I'm in version 2 to make use of the warp group. I use 3D and inner bevel effects on the text. Let's get started with the text. It makes sense to choose a bold font. Thin lines don't really show the 3D effect too much. I convert the text to curves because I want to change the look of this. I chose a font with very few nodes, which makes it easier to modify. The more intricate a font is, the harder it is to make changes and give it a style you want. I erase quite a few nodes to make it even simpler. And then select everything in order to create a rounded, more bubbly effect that goes better with the word sweets or the candy I used as my first sample. You can see that by smoothing all curves, I immediately get that bubbly look. There are fonts out there that have those attributes, but sometimes it's just faster and simpler to create your own, especially when you're just working on a single word. I combine all letters using the boolean add. I'm not using a compound because I want to use this shape as a clipping mask later. I make a duplicate to fall back on before I add the warp group. Once it is deformed, it's hard to undo. I convert the deformed shape to curves. With the base shape set, it's time to add color and the effects. When you look at the effects panel, you can see that some effects can be duplicated. 3D and bevel can't, so I will use 3D as the main effect and add the bevel for the rim light later on because it allows me to use just light without a shadow. After adjusting the radius of the 3D, I make sure the direction of the light does not alter the color too much. To create that super shiny glossy look, I create a rim light on the other side of the main light source. So I move the direction of my bevel. I change the radius, make sure I just use an inner bevel and adjust the smoothness just a little bit. But the main thing is to take out the shadow and set that to zero. That way I just get a highlight without a shadow on the other side. Lastly, I add an outer shadow effect. That way the letters stand out from the background. Make sure to adjust the angle of the drop shadow to match your light source. To add to the light effect, I add a gradient. Darkening the letters at the bottom makes the rim light stand out a lot better. I duplicate the shape and add a contour to the lower version, darkening the fill, thereby creating an outline that I can easily edit. I add some splashes around the outline using the circle tool and I can copy the effect by simply dragging the effects icon in the layer panel to that new shape. I create a few more circles and combine them all into a compound. They take on the characteristics of the lowest element in the compound group, which was the circle that already had the effect on it. For a swirl, I use the cog tool. It is very versatile, allows a lot of changes, so I can change the number of the teeth and then use a warp group with a twist. I can enhance the deformation by using the node tool, moving the control points and their handles. By adjusting the lengths of the handles, I can deform the swirl to give it a more organic, less even look. I 
I set the layer blend mode of the group to overlay and place the group inside my text as the child to a clipping mask. I copy the warp group and paste it inside the background shape. I scale and reposition it slightly and that's it. That is my candy look lettering with 3D effects. I started out with the text, used warp groups to deform and 3D and inner bevel for the light and 3D look. I created a similar video earlier. You might want to check that one out. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification icon, leave a like and a comment and let me know what you want to see on this channel and I will see you again soon.